Do you know how many amazing secrets distant exoplanets hide? Among those, potentially habitable worlds are the most intriguing ones. Their search scope is truly immense. Scientists estimate that there are more than 100 billion exoplanets in our Milky Way galaxy alone. An exoplanet is a name for a planet lying outside the solar system. Astronomers have been discovering them since 1980, but for the longest time, none of them met the parameters to be deemed potentially habitable. But what was going wrong? Scientists looked for exoplanets using indirect detection methods rather than visual observation. They mostly came across gas giants, which are easier to detect due to their size. They are more like Jupiter than Earth and hardly suitable for life due to the low water concentration in the atmosphere and no solid surface. However, most recently, astronomers have made some stunning breakthroughs using new technologies. One of the most effective ones was the transit method. It comes down to registering the drop in the star's luminosity when an exoplanet passes between it and the telescope. This process was clearly shown by NASA. The transit method made it possible to find small, Earth-sized, possibly habitable planets. There are some amazing worlds among them. Do you want to see them for yourself? Let's take a virtual trip to where the year lasts two days. Or there is almost no land. And even get to know our planet's potential twin. Exoplanets. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Planet GJ. 357D. First, we'll head to the bright red dwarf system called GJ357, lying in the Hydra constellation. In 2019, the TESS orbiting telescope discovered three small exoplanets there. GJ357D is the most distant of them and receives as much energy from the red dwarf as Mars from the Sun. According to scientists, it may be within the star's habitable zone, although this largely depends on the temperature of this exoplanet. Scorching hot or ice cold? The researchers found that GJ357D orbits very close to its star at a distance of about 30 million kilometers. The orbiting period takes 56 days. This is five times closer than from the Earth to the Sun. But then the exoplanet must be hotter than Mercury. It's twice as far from its star as the GJ357D. But still, its surface temperature reaches 427 degrees Celsius during the day. It's a kind of temperature capable of melting metals which of course renders these conditions unlivable. However, the opposite is true for the GJ357D. It revolves around a red dwarf, which is three times lighter than the sun and 40% colder. According to astronomers, the temperature on the planet should be minus 53 degrees Celsius because of this. Just try to imagine such a planet it would turn into an ice ball or a real snowball, unsuitable for life. But scientists consider the planet potentially habitable and hope to find a dense atmosphere there. Then enough heat would remain on GJ357D to ensure that liquid water is present. And this is one of the main criteria which makes a world habitable. Boundless oceans or rocky cliffs. 
The researchers also have to determine the planet's size and composition. GJ357D's location makes the task easier because it's only 31 light years away from us. To put this into perspective, the Sun is only millionths of a light year away from us. But by interstellar standards, GJ357D is literally around the corner. And it has already been found out that it's 6.1 times more massive than the Earth. This mass suggests that the exoplanet has a rocky surface. If that's true, it's about twice as big as our planet. But this place can be completely covered by the ocean. Astronomers are still trying to calculate what the size of such a water world would be. L98-59 system. Three exoplanets hugging a star. Meanwhile, we'll go a little further and visit the Volans constellation. There is an incredibly interesting L98-59 planetary system. It orbits a bright, cool red dwarf at a distance of 35 light years from Earth. A team of astronomers presented their research on the planetary system in 2021 in Astronomy and Astrophysics Journal. The story began in 2019 when the TESS Space Telescope detected three planets around the star, L98-59b, L98-59c, and L98-59d. All of them orbit so closely that they literally embrace the red dwarf. More precisely, they are 46, 33, and 21 times closer to it than the Earth is to the Sun. Their days can be counted by minutes, and the year lasts seven, four, and two Earth days. Radii of L98-59b, c, and d range from 0.8 to 1.6 of that of the Earth. Look at this illustration showing exoplanets compared to Mars and Earth. As you can see, the sizes of all celestial bodies aren't that different. According to experts, this makes exoplanets unlikely to be composed of ice or gas. In terms of their chemical composition, they should be rather similar to Earth. Light and soft. The scientists also calculated the planet's masses. One of them is light, almost like cotton candy. We are talking about L98-59b, which weighs 0.4 plus or minus 0.15 the mass of the Earth. It's about twice as light as Venus. All planets are also very loose. L98-59b's density is about 2.1 to 5 grams per centimeters cubed, and L98-59c has the density of 3.7 to 5.3 grams per centimeters cubed. The large iron core increases our planet's density as it constitutes about 30% of the globe's mass. Taking into account their density, L98-59b and c are likely to have small iron cores, making up about 12 to 14% of the planet's mass. Ocean Planet L98-59d is the third planet in this system and is strikingly different from its neighbors. With a density of 2.4 to 3.7 grams per centimeters cubed, up to 30% of its mass can be water. It's difficult for us to imagine such a huge ocean because water accounts for only 0.02% of the Earth's mass. Just imagine how big the ocean is out there. Of course, scientists can't guarantee that water makes up all the exoplanet's light matter. But this is most likely given that H2O is present in abundance in the universe. The fourth planet was hiding from telescopes. Furthermore, Astronomers announced the discovery of L98-59e, a fourth planet in the system. 
it's not transitive. That is, its orbit doesn't cross the line between the star and the observer. This is why the test telescope didn't detect it. It's already known that the planet's mass is 2.7 to 3.4 that of the Earth, and the year lasts 13 Earth days. A scorching foursome. So, it turns out that all four planets are terrestrial. Yet, they are absolutely unlivable. They are too hot, like Venus. Although their red dwarf is small and cold compared to the sun, these worlds are still too close to the star. The fifth planet is in the habitable zone. But we are still looking for livable places in the constellation. Are there any such places in the L98-59 system? Scientists claim it's hard to know for sure. As of now, they have only found a hint of the fifth planet, a non-transiting planet weighing between 1.6 and 3.1 Earth masses. If it exists, it will be in the habitable zone. However, its orbit will also be unusually close to the star, and the year will last only 23 days. But this distance to the red dwarf is considered optimal. The fifth planet will not be too hot and not too cold to keep the water in a liquid state. Kepler 186f. The Earth's twin? The existence of a potentially habitable exoplanet in the Cygnus constellation has already been confirmed. It's located very far around 500 light-years away from Earth. This is Kepler-186f, which orbits the red dwarf Kepler-186 along with its four neighbors. Scientists discovered it back in 2014, and soon they began to call it the Earth's twin. And here's why. Both planets are the same size, Kepler-186f's radius is only 13% larger than Earth's. Like the Earth, the exoplanet is located in the habitable zone of its star. This means that it has the conditions needed to keep water in the liquid form. In its planet system, Kepler-186f is the farthest planet orbiting the red dwarf. But the planetary system is very small so about 60 million kilometers separate the exoplanet from the star. It's the same distance as from Mercury to the Sun. Fortunately, as astronomers' calculations suggest, such proximity doesn't turn this world into a hot frying pan. The red dwarf is much smaller than the Sun, and Kepler-186f takes 130 days to complete its orbit. As we mentioned before, such stars radiate less heat, so Kepler-186f is quite likely to have an Earth-like temperature. The exoplanet is also well-lit and thus can support life. The red dwarf is only 4% as luminous as the Sun. But Kepler-186f is quite close to the star. It receives 32% of the amount of light that the Earth receives. That is, it's only slightly less illuminated than Mars. Imagine noon on Kepler-186f. It will be as light on the exoplanet as before the sunset on Earth. Or the Martian desert? However, not all scientists believe that this place is livable. The fact is that early on, red dwarfs usually emit a powerful stream of high-energy ultraviolet particles. Their impact may cause the planet to lose its primary atmosphere and become a deserted Mars twin. The axis tilt is what can bring us closer. Meanwhile, in 2020, researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology found another way in which Kepler-186f and Earth can be similar and differ from Mars. They found that the exoplanet's axial tilt changes very gradually 
like Earth's. The fluctuation ranges from 22.1 to 24.5 degrees, reaching the maximum values once every 10,000 years. The stable tilt of the axis ensures a regular change of seasons, as well as an even distribution of heat and light. This doesn't happen with abrupt oscillations of the axis, as is the case with Mars. It's located in the habitable zone of the solar system, but has a very unstable axial tilt, from zero to 60 degrees. This may be the key reason why the Martian atmosphere collapsed and water evaporated from its surface. And yet, despite the apparent similarities, scientists are reluctant to call this exoplanet the Earth's twin. Its composition and density are still unknown, as well as whether it has an atmosphere. The mass is also unclear. It can vary from 0.32 of the Earth's mass, if the planet is entirely made of water and ice, to 3.77 if it's made of iron. And with Earth-like composition, Kepler-186f's mass will be equal to 1.44 of our planet. So far, NASA has compiled an interactive visualization of the alleged surface of this celestial body. So, the three planets from our virtual tour can potentially host life. But they can also be unlivable. Scientists hope that next-generation telescopes, such as the recently launched James Webb, will finally reveal exoplanet secrets. In the meantime, we can make our own predictions. Which of the planets is more likely to host life forms? Write about it in the comments. And hit the like button if you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new episodes.